This screencast is going to focus on YouTube and a lot of recently new features that YouTube has added. So to get started, I'm going to log in. And I'm going to click on the Upload button. Now, when we click the Upload button, we typically want to upload a video. But if you notice on the right hand side, it gives us four other options instead of just being able to simply upload a video. So the first one I'm going to talk about is a webcam catcher. If I click record, it will allow me to um, do a live webcam recording which will then directly upload straight into YouTube. This prevents me from having to record a video, download it to my computer, and then upload it to YouTube. As soon as I'm finished recording, it will automatically become available on YouTube. This can save a lot of time and it also is very effective. So if I click back on upload, it will take me back to the home screen. And I want to show you now is a photo slideshow. So if I click create, I can go ahead and pull from any one of my photo albums that I have on Google Plus, or I can upload photos by simply dragging photos that are on my desktop or selecting photos from my computer. So what I'm going to do is go back to my photos and I'm going to click on an album called Meadowlark Gardens. And this is where I've taken some pictures of some different flowers and some different nature. So all I could do is simply highlight or select the photos that I want to use and then it will automatically create a slideshow for me. In addition, I can add some really cool effects like a pan and zoom. I can set the slide duration to different seconds and I can also switch up my transitions. Off to the right, it offers some audio tracks that are free to use for public use, which I can then simply insert into my slideshow. Next, all I'd have to do is click upload and it would create my slideshow. It's really that simple. The next thing I want to show you is Google Plus Hangout. What I can do is go to my Google Plus account and I can start a Google Plus Hangout and then it will record the video automatically and upload it straight to YouTube. So that's a really, really cool feature. Lastly, I want to talk about the video editor. What I can do is I can edit different videos that I've uploaded into my account. It offers me two places. One, I can drag any one of my videos down in here, and I can add as many videos as I want. In addition, I can also add different sound clips. By clicking on the little note, it will pull up a bunch of different free sound clips for me to use. I can search by genre, artist, or I can simply search. In addition, I can also search for free Creative Commons use videos. So if I want to use something um, that someone else has already uploaded, I can simply do a search and I can use any one of these videos that are free for public use into my video. Now, when I enter in a video, I can choose to enhance it, I can choose to add text, and I can also choose to split the clip however I'd like. In addition, I can also add some really cool transitions, add some different type of text, and I can also insert pictures. So, the next time you go to YouTube, instead of just uploading some of your files, think about creating a webcam capture, a photo slideshow, maybe even a Google Plus Hangout, and feel free to take um, advantage of the free YouTube editor um, that is available, um, which is very easy to use, and it can create really amazing projects.